Hello, welcome back to the Coxall Vlog. I'm Steve the bartender and behind the camera is my wife, Kat. It was her birthday a few days ago and she wanted to pick a few cocktails. So from today onwards, we're running through a few of her recipes that she's picked out and hope you guys enjoy them. I'm a little bit wary. <laughs> today we're doing a Saigon cooler. So this is a gin based cocktail, uh, it calls for a little bit of Chambord so it uh, sweetens it up and then you've got some tart cranberry juice, uh, cranberry works really well with lime, um, yeah let's just get mixing on with the cocktail, let's, get mi 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 <laughs> let's just get mixing, I've had a few spritz, I apologise. Um, because this is a, it's got some sweet components, got some tart, uh, I didn't want to accentuate um, that that tartness in in the cocktail so I'm using a, a bit of a, a spicier gin maybe maybe not spicy I think it's got, got a little bit of pepperberry in there um, so I get a little bit of pepper from this I think it'll be an interesting addition to the drink before I add that uh, it's got some muddled raspberries too so throw in six or seven raspberries normally you would give it a muddle but raspberries are such a soft fruit that when I give it a shake and I have quite big cubes as well, that it's pretty much going to pulverize those raspberries and the, the juice is going to be extracted and imparted on the cocktail as it is. But you can give that a model if you like, which is what the original recipe called for. Uh, 60 ml of your preferred gin. So 60 ml, two ounces. I'm using mountain gin. And then we've got 15 ml of Chambord Black Raspberry French Liqueur. You can also check out my Mother's Day video right there with lots of Chambord cocktails. Then we have 90 ml of cranberry juice, three ounces. So a cooler is generally like a, a sweet, fruity cocktail. Um, sorry. Great for hot summer days. Easy drinking. Um, you've got 90 mils of cranberry juice, so it's gonna be like pretty pretty easy to drink. It's not gonna be overwhelming, it's not gonna be overpowering. Um, the ratios are gonna make it easy to sit on. Uh, if you prefer, you could serve this over crushed ice if you like. This is gonna be served over cubed ice. So it's 22.5 mil, three quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. give it a short shake just to combine the ingredients pulverize those pulverize pulverize those raspberries to my spreads have a feeling this may be a little bit too much liquid strain it over the fresh ice into a highball glass Spot on. Add a surfside sip, add a straw. Don't use a plastic straw. Use a little glass straw. Check out surfsidesips.com and use this coupon code STB20 for 20% off surfside sips. This one is a little short straw, but it'll do for this one. And for garnish, <laughs> use a long straw in a long glass. That would make sense. Don't use a short straw, because that's stupid. <laughs> Do you have a uh, long straw? <laughs> I knew that was going to happen, I, but I did it anyway. Serve it with a long straw. Garnish with some raspberries. And they have a beautiful Saigon cooler. Cheers. It's 
quite tart from the cranberry juice. Um, I was worried that the lime juice was going to be too overwhelming, but it, but it's not. Uh, it helps subdue that that tartness. Um, the gin is very very well hidden. I, I'd use a like I said, like a spicy gin or a juniper forward gin. If you used anything lighter, it would just be completely lost. And then you've got that black raspberry liqueur that just gives it a little bit of a pop. It's it's pretty tasty. It's it's a summer sessionable drink. It's really light. It's fruity. It's exactly what you expect from a cooler. Is it? If someone gave it to me, I, I, I wouldn't complain. But is it my cocktail? Is it my type of cocktail? Probably not. But it's enjoyable, sweet, sessionable. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.